Hi, my name is Lynn Glacier and I'm going to show you how to make really fast sugar bunting using the easiest bunting ever cutters. Designed by myself and made in collaboration with FMM, you get three cutters in a set and each cutter cuts out eight pieces of bunting. Because there's three sizes, uh, they're perfect for cupcakes, wedding cakes, and here we've got a first birthday cake and a beautiful two-tier wedding or celebration cake. So let's get going. So first of all, I just want to talk about what icing I'm going to use. I like to use a mixture 50-50 of sugar paste and modelling paste. Or today, I'm going to use Satina Perfect Paste, and that's already made up to that consistency for me. I've dusted my work surface with corn flour. You can either buy a corn flour pouch or make them yourself. And I've rolled the icing out to approximately one, about one millimetre in depth. So I'm going to take the largest of the bunting cutters, place on top of the icing and press firmly down, not forgetting to press in the middle as well. Remove the excess from the outside and then just take a soft brush and pop it out. It's really that easy. So that's the largest one. This is the medium cutter. Press down, remove the icing from the outside, make sure you've pressed in the middle and then pop the bunting out. And now I'm going to use the smallest one which is perfect for cupcakes. And just pop the bunting pieces out. It really, really is that easy. So you can attach the bunting straight onto your cake with edible glue or a tiny dot of raw icing, or you can leave the pieces to set overnight so they're firm and easy to attach the next day. So I'm just gonna pop those to one side and I'm going to show you how to get a textured effect on your bunting. Again, I'm using the 50-50 mix of sugar paste and modeling paste or the Satina Perfect paste and roll your icing out this time to about two millimeters in depth. Don't forget to keep dusting your surface with corn flour so that the icing doesn't stick. Always make sure the icing moves on your surface. And now I'm going to take a textured knit rolling pin by FMM and I'm going to roll really firmly over the paste. Sometimes you just have to hold your icing down to start with. There we go. And I'm going to use the last cutter. Now if you've still got the excess in the cutter, just use a cocktail stick and it comes out really easily like so. Place your cutter on top and do exactly the same as before. Take the excess away, make sure you've pressed in the middle and then pop your pieces out. And now we have knitted bunting. There's just one more thing I'd like to say is that you can put messages onto your bunting as well. And I'm just going to show you, I've got one here. And I've cut out tiny letters in modeling paste and then just attach them to your bunting with a tiny bit of edible glue. So lastly, I just want to go through how to attach bunting to the cake. On this cake, I've used the knit textured rolling pin all the sizes of bunting in different colours. Just put a little tiny bit of a royal icing, a dab at the top of the bunting, so you almost want the bottom of the bunting to flap out slightly. Then I've used a 1.5 tube and royal icing and piped a line just along the top of the bunting with tiny little bows at the top. This cake here, I've used the hessian textured rolling pin and we've got all the large bunting on the bottom, medium and then small. Lastly, you might wonder about the carnations as well, they're beautiful and if you're interested in knowing how to make these, check out our video, The Easiest Carnations Ever. Thank you.